How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to access the webcam using JavaScript and I'm going to be showing you the simplest and most basic way of doing this because you can get advanced. You can uh, give the user the option to um, select which device they want to um, choose in the case of multiple webcams and you can get into the intricacies of uh, the ideal environment and ideal resolutions, etc. But I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to go about doing this. So right here, I've got an index HTML page. It is currently empty. Let's get my webcam feed on the page right here using some HTML and a tiny bit of JavaScript. So firstly, we're going to go inside the body here. We're going to be uh, having a new video element just like this. Let's give it an ID of webcam video. Okay. We're also going to say autoplay here as an attribute. So right here we have a video element on the page. If I save this and go back in the browser, uh, we can see that of course nothing actually happens, but that element exists. Now, what's going to happen is we're going to go inside the JavaScript and we're going to say, let's ask the user for permission to um, you know, get access to their webcam feed. If the user accepts and says, yes, this website can access the webcam, then we're going to grab that stream and essentially tell this video element to display that webcam stream. Okay, so down here, let's get a reference to the webcam video uh, element. We'll say const webcam video equal to document dot get elements by ID and pass through here. Of course, webcam video being conscious of the capital V right here. Now we're then going to just say uh, navigator dot media devices. Okay, dot get user media. Okay. Inside here, we're going to simply pass an object that says video equal to true. I'm going to come back to this object very shortly, but for now, let's just say, look, I want to get the video from the user. Okay. Then you say dot then. Okay. So here, the dot then indicates a successful request. So the user said yes to the video. Okay. I'm going to grab onto the stream by saying stream right here. Okay, this is the object containing the media stream, the actual video itself, right? Then we'll say, let's get the webcam video and say dot source object is equal to stream. Okay, all right. Now, this is our best case scenario. The user said yes. What happens if the user says, no, you know what? I don't want this website to access my video. What happens then? Well, we handle that situation. So you say dot uh, catch, okay? You grab onto the error object, which gives you more information as to why the user uh, said no, okay? In this case here, I'm going to console.error, the error object, okay? Of course, in your situation, you may wish to uh, present to the user a message which says, sorry, we can't access your webcam right now something like that. You may even, uh, you know, indicate to them that if they want uh, this to work, they need to uh, allow permission. So this is our completed sort of code here for the webcam stream. I'm going to save this and go back in the browser. As we can see now, the browser says this website wants to use your cameras. Okay. This is Chrome's permission system. I'm sure other web browsers are going to have similar, uh, you know, security measures in place. So I'm going to say, block. All right. I said no. As we can see, we can't force the user to provide their webcam. Okay. It's not going to happen. Um, which means I got the permission denied error. And this here is from our catch block right here, which caught that error. Okay. Like I said, you may want to display a message to get this to work. We need to go back here and say, actually, you know what? I want to allow this site to access the camera. So I'll tick that box in Chrome. It might be different in Safari or Firefox, etc. I'll tick it here in Chrome. I'll reload the page. And now we can see it accesses the webcam. What you're seeing here is my other webcam, which isn't the best quality, not the best angle either. Um, but the point is, yes, it is working. And you've got my webcam feed right there. Okay. Now, 
As we can see, the webcam isn't the correct aspect ratio. Most webcams these days are gonna be a 16 by nine, probably 1080p or at least 720p. So we need to update the code to say, look, for this webcam, I wanna get the 720p feed, okay? So 1280 by 720. To achieve this, let's go back inside here. This is where the object comes into play, okay? This video equal to true. This is the most basic way of saying, can I access the webcam, all right? To get this to be a little bit more detailed, you want to define a constraints object, okay? So we'll say here, const constraints equal to a new object, all right? At the moment, we just said video true. We're going to instead say video. And now instead of saying true here, it's gonna let us specify an object containing more intricacies of what we actually want um, to get in terms of the resolution and also in the case that the user has multiple uh, cameras, for example, on a mobile device, you may have a back camera and a front facing camera. This is where you say, look, for this website, for my application, ideally, I want to see the front facing camera or you can say, I wanna see the rear facing camera. Okay, you can specify those types of constraints, those types of details inside this object right here. So an easy fix in most situations, I would say, would be to say width of 1280 and a height of 720. This says, look, can I please get a 720p feed of the webcam if it supports it, right? In our case here, my webcam supports it and I'm sure most webcams are gonna support this resolution. You might have issues on mobile devices if you got your front facing camera, but you need to play around with these uh, dimensions in order to um, get it working correctly, okay? Also, we're gonna say uh, facing mode equal to environment, okay? If you want to ideally get your front facing camera, then you might say user here instead. Well, I'm gonna say environment, okay? All right, now we're gonna provide this constraints object as opposed to this inline object, okay? We'll say constraints right there. I'll save this and go back in the browser. And we can see that we now have a 720p feed is much larger as well. So I'll, so I'll just zoom out here. A 720p feed of the webcam. And this right here is probably gonna be uh, your desired result for uh, most of you guys looking to, of course, add this functionality to your website. So that is how to access the user webcam using JavaScript. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.